Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, and three.
Hello once again, Shaker Heights Varsity football fans, and welcome here to Harry E. Winter Stadium, home of the Willoughby South High School Rebels, for our first look at your Red Raiders 2023 football season. They start on the road here today, taking the 35-minute drive northeast to reach this football field, just adjacent to the Willoughby South High School itself located on the southwest areas of Willoughby. It is a public co-ed school with an enrollment as of five years ago around 1,200 students, whereas Shaker Heights holds an enrollment of around 1,700 students. Once again, that's of five years ago. Now, Shaker has much to show this season, entering the Greater Cleveland Conference, of course, with their rival school of Cleveland Heights. This moves the GCC to an eight-team conference. Though this matchup tonight is not an in-conference contest, this can tell us how well the Red Raiders can fare against the tougher competition. When talking to head coach Alex Nicholson Wednesday on the talk surrounding his team, he detailed that there isn't much hype at all, mainly just negative talk. He said that Shaker is primarily expected to finish last in the GCC after struggling to succeed against the Lake Erie League opponents last year, such as Solon and Garfield Heights. Coach Nicholson had only one word of response to said conversation. That one word was good. It's always better to be underestimated than overestimated. Nicholson wants his team to prove people wrong with the performance here today. But can they open their season on the right foot against the Rebels? Well, to turn our attention to the contest at hand, there's never really any stats to talk about before the start of a high school football season, but there's always some rankings. Max Preps, the often valued high school athletics database, has some of these rankings for Ohio high school football. In overall state rankings, Shaker places at 218, while South places at 339. With in Division II of Ohio, Shaker stands at 46th, South at 63rd. Since we're yet to see a single snap of football so far this season, that is all the statistics I'll be able to share before kickoff. To focus more on the opposition, the Rebels did not have the brightest season themselves last year, finishing four and seven overall, three and four in Western Reserve Conference play. They're going to have something to prove as well. Though their football program needs to find that streak of success once again, the school does hold the pride of developing former Chiefs and Browns running back Kareem Hunt, perhaps some future stars on the South team right now. Who knows? But with that last bit of information, we await kickoff here at the Harry E. Winter Stadium here in Willoughby. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum with the call. We should have a good one in store for you here. Kicking off, it's going to be the Red Raiders. South will get their first look at offense early in this one. Will Tagan will be the kicker. Number 85 joining from the soccer team, and this kid has a boot. We'll see what he can do for his very first kickoff with the varsity squad. It's not a bad idea for a high school football team to take someone off the soccer team with a strong leg. We'll see this first kickoff now. And not too stellar but it'll get the job done. And the receiver is already up to the 30 and Will Tagan needing to track him down. He's going all the way. 20, 15, 10, and five touchdown. What a way to open a season. My goodness. That's a way to hurt the other team's spirits early. However, we have a flag down back at the 30. A penalty would be huge at this point. 
because that's not the way you want to start a football season if you're the Red Raiders. And a holding call on South. Oh, my. <laughs> that's just devastating if you were the Rebels. These fans were all hyped, but all for nothing. If you're a Red Raider fan, take a breather. We're still scoreless. 13 seconds off the clock. 11.47 left to go here in the first quarter of play. South getting their first look on offense here. They're starting at the 20. And play is blown dead before it even starts. And it looks like we've gotten offsides on Shaker. Move him up five. First and five. Quarterback Gabe Hanslick, the starter for the men in Columbia Blue. And a throw right down the middle. He'll hook up with number 11, but he'll fumble it. And the Red Raiders will recover on their side of midfield. Flag is down, but we'll see what happens. Oh, my goodness, a lot of drama early in this one. And it looks like it is going to be Red Raider ball. Whew. This is already really fun to watch. So now the Red Raiders getting their first crack at things on the offensive side. Abdul Lamad, the leader of said offense. He came in at week three of last season. Only entering his junior year, he replaced Flynn Block, the senior we didn't see Block much more because Ahmad came in and he performed really well. There, a high snap, and he's now going to need to recover a fumble. And I think he did. But my goodness, a lot of flaws early in this game. Perhaps just some early nerves. This is high school ball, of course. They'll lose eight on the play. Second and 18. Two out to the right, two out to the left, but it'll be a handoff to the left to Cornell Beard. The junior taken down quickly. Only about a gain of one and a half. Two if they're lucky. And make it third down and 16. Ahmad quickly in a pickle. Now this time it'll be three out to the right. One out to the left. Beard in the backfield with Ahmad. And here Ahmad will take off to his right. Does he have a man open? Yes, he does. It's Aiden Murray. He'll hook up. And he will get the first down. He was really open, Aiden Murray. And there you go. First down off of a third and 16. That's a way to raise your spirits and keep the drive going. Now they find themselves at the 20. Three out left, one out right. He'll take the snap, he'll hand it off to Cornell Beard, and he is stopped quickly before reaching the line of scrimmage. Probably be a loss of two on the play, second and 12. Beard not starting his day off well. Ahmad checking over to his team sideline, getting the play call. And this time he'll go for the pass. To his left, he hooks up with Trey McNutt, and he goes for a burst. I believe he will pick up the first, and there you go, Trey McNutt. And he's back where he left off last season. Trey McNutt, definitely a player. If you follow Shaker Heights football, you know Trey McNutt. Just entering into his junior season, the kid's already already has 
so many D1 offers. Just announced his offer to Georgia the other day there. Not the best handoff. That's clearly something just didn't go right there. Ball just slipped out of his hands. So the loss is four yards, second and 14. Ball for the moment on the 14. And here the handoff to Cornell Beard. He'll work to his left down the sideline, and he will get taken down. It'll take us to a third down. But it's the first positive run of the game for Shaker and of this drive. Already three minutes off the clock here as we begin play. Third and six, or third and goal from the six. And there, Ahmad quickly taken down the pressure. My goodness, this offensive line needs to get some sort of connection going because the men in Columbia blue and gray continue to lay this pressure on the quarterback. And so, that'll send the offense over to the sideline. A solid drive, just stopped a little short. And on the fourth and goal from the eight, they'll go for the field goal. And it is up, and it is good. Throw on three points, and Shaker has the first lead of the ball game. Three nothing. Jack Geisler, the the kicker to throw up the first points up on the board. And now we'll see Will Tagen back with the kickoff unit, needing to do a bit of a better job as we have seen him do in practice throughout the week. Number 85, the senior, setting up. And that kicker's punter situation is an interesting one. Will Tagen, coming from that soccer team, he's really just here for the power and to take these kickoffs while Jack Geisler is going to be taking the point after touchdown attempts and the field goals, as you saw right there. Will Tagen only going to take some field goal attempts if it's from, as he said to me yesterday, about 50 yards out. But that's in a real desperation type of play. Here's his kickoff. And there's some more power all the way back into the end zone. And it'll go for a touchback. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're just getting started. Shaker up a field goal. And that's all that we've got so far. 3-0 our score. South getting ready to start their drive from their own 20 after the touchback. Gabe Hanslick, the quarterback, heading into his senior year now. Can also play defensive back, but quarterback is definitely his primary position. He's got three men out to the right, one out to the left, and he's going to scramble out to his right on the first passing attempt. And oh, could that be an interception? Did he have his feet in? They'll say yes. And there you go. Shaker's defense making some changes early, and this quarterback needs to work on how to just throw it out of bounds. Shaker's defense making some easy work of this South offense. And again, the Red Raider offense is going to have tremendous field position as they now start at the opposition's 20. Abdul Ahmad with two receivers out to the right. That's Trey McNutt and Aiden Murray. And I expect those to be the targets if he's looking to go deep into the end zone. He'll take the snap, 
And it looks like he's already looking their way. He throws it up to Trey McNutt. Ooh, in and out of the hands. Good defense, good coverage from number two. That's Dylan Moss on the coverage. Just a bit too underthrown. Couldn't hit him in stride. Trey McNutt almost able to come down with it, and that's why he's got so many D1 offers, but just not able to make it happen. 7.54 left to go here in the first quarter. Shaker up three, looking to do some more damage. Take the snap, and he'll hand it off to Cornell Beard right up the middle, and that should be a first down. And that it is. Move the chains. So move it to first and goal. Once again, last time they were in this position, Shaker had to settle for the field goal. Here, throw over to the left to Colin Richards. He's got some space, but only about six yards of space. Second and goal for about the four. Or perhaps the three, maybe two if they're lucky. And it looks like they're lucky. Second goal from the two-yard line. We can expect to run here on the second down play. We'll see if that's what's to come. Beard in the backfield with Ahmad. He'll wait. Now it looks like we have a delay of game. Mod taking just a bit too long. Snap the ball, and that's what you'll get. Second and seven. Richard and Ahmad out to the right. Two men near side to the left. And they're still going to stick with the run. Cornell Beard going to the outside to the left, and he is taken down right at about the line of scrimmage. Perhaps a loss of one. 7.30 left to go in the quarter. Trey McNutt back into play. Third and goal now from the seven. Shaker doesn't want to have to settle for another field goal. What can they do here? Looks like they'll run once more, but he'll fake the give Ahmad going up the middle. Did he get there? Ooh, looks like they'll mark him just short. Ahmad putting his body on the line for the six, but he just comes up short, and it looks like Shaker's going to go for this one. Because it should be a fourth and goal from only the one at most. Here we go. Big opportunity to get the first touchdown of the season. Ahmad takes the snap he'll give to Cornell Beard and he is up the middle that should be a touchdown and yes it is touchdown Red Raiders they're up now nine to nothing about to be ten well that's a way to start your season Red Raiders after an unfortunate end of the season last year Losing against Cleveland Heights, 70 to six. Now granted, not many of those starters were in. The kick is up and it is no good. So let it stay at nine to nothing. But Shaker should be content with where they are for the moment. But yes, with the way Shaker concluded their season last year, this is not a bad spot to be in. Nine nothing our score. Will Tegan coming back out for the kickoff. The Red Raiders today in their uniform combination, wearing those red buckets, white jerseys with red accents, and those red pants. It's a nice contrast compared to the Columbia blue and gray uniforms of South. Now South, their uniforms much more classic and simple. For example, their helmet, not even one with a logo. Reminds you of the Lions alternate classic uniforms that they wore on Thanksgiving Day. 
That's enough about uniforms. Here's a kickoff from Will Tagan. Caught at about the 8, and he'll take it out. Further past the 25, and now he'll be taken down on the tackle. It was Damian Cunningham. But now it looks like we'll get a couple of flags, probably for unsportsmanlike, as some of the Red Raider players needed to separate some of their teammates. We'll see. And yeah, it looks like it will go against the men in white and red. So move up south. The offense that has only possessed the ball for 32 seconds of game clock. They're looking to hold on to the ball a little more on this possession. And here, going to the air. But immediately, he'll be taken down that time by Trey McNutt. Only a gain of about three. Or mark it two. Second and eight. Ooh, bit of an offsides not called there, but the Red Raiders are going to take it. Another short pass, not able to pick up the first just yet, but it'll be a third down in about three. Can Shaker hold him off once more? Hands lick the quarterback. A couple of possessions to his name, but he's also got that interception. That cost him that last drive. And there, good coverage. Just not able to break up the play before it happened. There was number 13, Drew Walton, the corner. So there you go. Willoughby South first, first down of the game. And we are already halfway through this first quarter. Here he goes, trying to scramble, and he will get taken down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Hanslick had no receivers open, but he also didn't have any sort of time. That'll be a loss of three. Second and 13. Hanslick with the snap. The give up the middle. Does their running back tripped up. Tripped up by Steven Henderson, but it'll be positive yardage nonetheless. Looks like it'll be third down and four. And they're doing some hurry up offense to try and trip up this Red Raider defense who has been on a groove without any of this hurry up stuff. The throw, the quick throw, and immediately right into the hands and right out of the hands. Good contact from Aiden Murray. And we'll see if they go for this one. They're leaving the offense out. They're past midfield. Even if South gives this up, it'll be the worst starting field position for Shaker. And play blown dead before anything gets underway. Timeout taken by Shaker Heights. We will step back for a moment as they take their time to talk things over, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum. We will be right back. we got 4.53 left to go in the first. And we're back after the timeout. 4.53 left to go in quarter number one. Shaker up nine. Fourth down, four yards to go. Four south. What can 
hands lick the quarterback, do here. And oof. It's either a false start or it's an offsides. We'll see what the call is. It looks like it'll be an offsides. First down, Willoughby South. That's just not one you want to give up. Quickly, right after the whistle was blown, you could tell Cornell Beard was going to get called. Just a bit too jumpy on the fourth down conversion. And now we're here on the first and ten. New set of downs for the Rebels. Ball is on. Ten Rebels. Their offensive side of midfield. It's on the 37. Hensley hikes the ball. Fake the give. He's got some time. The throw. And oof. Looked like a bit of some aggressive coverage. But nothing is called. The receiver clearly wanted something going his way. But just didn't get anything. But we've got a man injured down on the midfield. S. That S standing for South, of course. So we will take an injury timeout so he gets taken care of. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back. And we're back after the injury timeout. The man down on the field, number 33, Cardario Williams, which on the roster has him listed as a wide receiver linebacker. Here in this game, he's been acting as the running back, only going into his sophomore year. Second down, 10 to go. Throw off to the right side, and he'll drop it. In and out of the hands. His receivers... Need to get their hands around the ball, secure it in. They have just been struggling. Granted, this offense as a whole has been struggling. They find themselves still without any points to their name. 9 nothing. Shaker has the advantage. Third and 10. Hanslick trying to fake out the defense. Now he'll check over to the left sideline, trying to get perhaps a audible from a coach. Some sort of clearance. No time oh. given, and oof, he is taken down. Ball is out. I believe the offensive lineman was able to get a hand on it, and he does get it back. But my goodness, where was the O-line on that? And out comes the punt team. That was dangerous. Hanslick just saw his life flash before his eyes on that play. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. On a fourth and 20, the Rebels are making the obvious decision to punt this one away. Not a bad punt. Taken in at about the 11, and they'll fair catch it. They had a lot of green grass in front of him, but he'll play it safe. Aiden Murray on the catch. And we'll see him some more as the offense comes out with him, Trey McNutt, Abdullah, Ahmad, and more. First down for the Red Raiders. They have Ball spotted at their own 11. We'll see what they decide to do here, how aggressive they decide to play this. This backed up into their own side of midfield. He'll take the snap. He'll give off to his running back. That's not Cornell Beard, but working onto the outside 
He'll get some positive yardage. Not quite the first down. So now they're up to the 19, make it second down and two. And this time he'll look to go to the air. Working off to his left side, he'll find Colin Richards, and he'll be shoved out of bounds. But there you go. Move the chains. New set of downs for your Red Raiders. Good pick up there from Colin Richard. Heading into his senior year, only his second year of playing football, and he gets the start as both wide receiver and as a safety. He has grown tremendously through the program. Here we got a man in motion moving to the right side. He'll hook up with number 26, and he'll try to stiff arm, but not to too much succession. But once again, we'll pick up some positive yardage. Caden King, the acting running back for the moment. In the backfield there, he was for the block. And there, a beauty of a pass just out in front of him. Aiden Murray, the intended target, had to dive out in front of him. Just not able to reel it in. Perhaps a bit overthrown. And that'll bring up the third and five. Not to say it wasn't a catchable ball, but you can't blame him for not being able to reel it in. Although we know that is third down and five. Three men out to the left side, one over to the near side and right. Cornell Beard wide open, but he'll go. I believe that's Colin Richards, the target, and whew, not the best ball, but Colin Richards putting his body on the line, diving out in front of him. He will reel it in for the first down. Number 17. Doing well so far in his first varsity start. Less than two minutes to go here in the first quarter of this one in there. Very hesitant handoff between Abdullah Ahmad and Cornell Beard, and it led to the south defensive line getting pressure back there quickly. We'll go down as a loss of three yards. Second and 13. Clock ticking on down. Shaker up nine, looking to add to that deficit. Snap, the throw to the right side. I believe that's Kai James, but he is taken way behind the line of scrimmage. No opportunity for Kai James to move it forward whatsoever. And he'll be taken off the field. Thirty seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Ahmad takes the snap and he's got everyone going deep, but it looks like he's got some room to run and he will use it to his advantage, but he'll slide down. He'll just get it to midfield. Well, they go for it. And it looks like they will not. They'll play this one safe. Fourth down, two yards to go. Unless they really want to fake this one. They practiced fake punts during yesterday's practice. So it's not at all out of the question. However, timeout. Or excuse me, not a timeout. That is the end of quarter number one. And when we come back, Shakers going to punt this one away on the fourth and two. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum. We'll be back with you shortly.
And we're back. Fourth and two for the Red Raiders. And it looks like they're going to punt this one away with Sebastian Suarez Christodulo. And a long snap. The punt. And not a bad punt whatsoever. This one's going to roll and roll all the way down to about the 12 yard line. And there you go. Twelve seconds off the clock. We've got eleven forty-eight left to go till halftime. Shaker finds themselves up nine to nothing. Really, so much credit to their defense. They've just been able to keep these rebels at bay, especially with that interception that really turned the tide. So here comes Willoughby South in the offense. Hanslick, still the starting quarterback out there as we begin the second. And here's the handoff and taken down immediately. Two flags, however, thrown by two different refs. We'll see what we get. And it looks like we'll get a face mask. On the Red Raiders, that'll move them up a solid amount. But Willoughby South still trying to work in that run game. Even though three runs got him negative six yards. We'll see if they decide to go to the air. In the air, they were four for eight but only 16 yards, four yards per reception. He's been keeping these throws really short. And once again, trying to work the ball out to the left side. And this running back is just having a tough time. But you can't really blame him because the offensive line giving him no space, no room to run, no gaps between the line. Just got to sympathize with the sophomore number 33, Cardero Williams. Two men to the right, two men to the left. Man in the backfield with Hanslick is Williams. He'll take the snap in. He'll fake the give to Williams, and he's got a man wide open on the slant. He will be short of the first. Pass complete to Singleton. He was wide open. No one covering him on the slant. It looks like they'll just have enough to pick up the first down. Now they lie on the 36-yard line. Here another run, and here again. Barry Williams, ball carrier. Taken down for negative yardage. They continue to run, and in high school ball, that's not exactly uncommon, but it is just not working for them. The Bass game has worked so much more. We'll see if they decided to go back to the air here, and that they will. And they'll pick up some positive yardage, and there you go. Not exactly enough for the first down, but it'll be a third down and one. Excuse me, perhaps one and a half. Opportunity to pick up another first down, perhaps get past. Midway mark of the field. Hanslick, the snap, the give, up the middle, and this time for some positive yardage. Sophomore moving the chains, first down and 10. Will it be South? Perhaps South getting together a consistent drive here. They find themselves down nine, so one drive isn't going to do it. But it is the start of some sort of comeback here in this first half. He'll fake the give. Not too much time, but does he have an open receiver? That he does. On the coverage was Aiden Murray. But a perfect ball thrown to the intended target. First down. South. 
Pass midfield, past the 40. They find themselves at the 37. will be south of three first downs. This into oh, oh goodness, oh my goodness, what a close play! Excuse me, excuse me, Freddie. Voice cracks as well. That was just unexpected. Just not it off the snap. Immediately thrown up into the air, and the defensive lineman looked like he had it, but just slipped right through his grasp. It'll go down as a loss of plenty of yardage. Second and twenty. When I try to give some sort of statistic, something exciting happens. And here, once again, quarterback just fumbling a little. Perhaps some nerves here on the opening game of the season. But he just has to keep his hand on the ball. Perhaps keep his eye on the ball as it's coming right towards him. He'll pick it up. And he'll pick up four. But he's got to get his act together. Hanslick, the senior starter for the men in Columbia Blue and Gray. And he's got a lot of work to do on the third and 17. Snap the ball. He's got plenty of receivers in green space, but he'll throw it right to Aiden Murray. And the second interception thrown by Hanslick. Bring back out the Red Raider offense. South just can't get anything to go for him so far in this first half. But if you're a Red Raider fan, you are just not complaining. 7.28 left to go here in the second quarter. We've got some halftime shows for you, including your very own Shaker Heights High School marching band. You can see them in the stands opposite us. Getting prepared for their show. Abdullah Ahmad back out. Three receivers out to the right side, one to the left. Does he have a man open? Yes, he does. He'll find his intended target, throwing a man down as he moves up past the first down marker, but I believe a face mask will be called on that one. Move him up even further. There you go. Kyle Waits, the intended target. And the successful target. So move him up plenty. Will it be South's first flag thrown on them, except for that opening kickoff that took back the opening touchdown? Ball on the 34. Ahmad snaps. He'll give it to Cornell Beard, and he'll work off to his right side. He's got some room to run. Up the sideline, taken down just around the 10, perhaps at the 9, and the referee moves it back to the 10. We'll see. Should be first and goal. Longest run so far. 24 yards. And they're just going to go right back to the ground, but... This time it'll be Ahmad keeping it, but the play is blown dead. Will it be offsides? Yes, it will be. Move them up. Or excuse me. Late substitution. Excuse me. Don't mean to be feeding any false information. Well, that'll still move them up five. First and goal from the five. Over the referee needing to blow something dead real quick, but now we're back to it. Just needing to reset the ball. 6.50 left to go. Ahmad. Getting set to take the snap, but it looks like it'll be a false start. Once again, Shaker just getting a little too jumpy in the red zone. So that'll move them back right where they were. First and goal from the 10. It'll 
He'll take the snap. He'll give it off to Cornell Beard. Once again, trying to work off to the right side. But he'll be taken out of bounds once more. It'll be a second down and goal. From about the eight. Perhaps needing to go to the air if they can't get anything going on the ground. Ahmad, three men to the left, one to the right. Beard in the backfield with him, but he'll go to the air on this one. Got no time, and he'll get tripped up just diving back to the line of scrimmage. Good effort to not lose much yardage. But I don't think he lost any at all. I think he might have gained some. He gained one. Third and goal, this time from the seven. 6.15 left to go in quarter number two. Thank you very much for tuning in. Shaker up nine, looking to do some more on third and goal. Ahmad once again looking to go to the air. But he's got some room in front of him. Trying to dive in for it, but he'll just be stopped short. Tripped up right behind him. And he'll be close. Fourth and goal from the one. You already know, head coach Alex Nicholson. He's the aggressive type. And so, on this fourth and goal, Shaker will see if they can pick up six. But a timeout will be taken. It'll be on. It'll be taken by the Red Rivers. And as they talk things over, we will take a very, very short break. And we'll be back for fourth and goal from the one. Shaker up nine. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you very much for tuning in. Here we go. Fourth and goal from the one-yard line. Ahmad might just take this in himself, but he's also got Cornell Beard in the backfield with him. 524 left to go in quarter number two. Shaker up nine, looking for more. He'll take the snap. He'll give it off to Beard. He's got some room to run to the right side, and he is in easily. Throw up six more on the board. Shakers winning this one. It's 15 to nothing. They'll be sending Jack Geisler back out for the kick. Last time he missed it wide to the left. We'll see how he does on this attempt. And ooh, he fumbled. On the snap, even though he looked a bit offsides, no call given. And we're sticking at a 15-0 score. Will Tegan will be back out for the kickoff with the rest of his Red Raider teammates. Five minutes, 19 seconds left to go in our first half of action. We've got some phenomenal halftime shows here for you. I know Shaker Heights has one, and seeing as how the Willoughby South band is warming up to our left, we can assume they have some show of, their, of themselves. Excuse me. So on that Shaker touchdown drive, 
five runs and only one pass. Cornell Beard, the running back. And he has been doing well. He was substituted out for a couple plays to make way for Caden King. But Beard was quickly brought right back. Here's Will Tagan to take the kickoff. We'll see what the boot can do. Number 85. Set to send this one away. Oh, there you go. Taken in at the five. He'll move it to the left side. And he'll escape some tackles, but not much else. He'll get taken down between the 25 and 30. So out comes Shaker's defense, and they have just been on a roll. Granted, the starting senior quarterback, Hanslick, has not found a su success streak of his own. Hasn't found too many open receivers, however. The main issue is time. His offensive line just hasn't given him any time. We'll see what he can do here. Two men to the right, two men to the left. Man in the backfield with him. He'll, he'll hook up with number 22. And oof. He looked to grab him by the collar, but no call. Red Raiders might have gotten away with one there. Eight yards on the play. The Rebels clearly just need to stick with the passing game because the running game has just not been it. And here they go to the passing game once more, except now that I say that. An unfortunate drop by number one. That's Terry and Singleton. If he had reeled that one in, he had nothing but green grass in front of him. Would have put up six, or hopefully for them, seven. Shaker yet to get a single PAT themselves. Or the Rebels yet to get any opportunity to throw up a PAT. Here, Douglas Hostin a little held up. No call. And Hanslick just going to throw this one away as he's being tracked down by Austin. Learning from his first time. Last time he was rolling out to the sideline, he threw it right to a Red Raider defender for the interception. His first of two in this first half. So they're going for it on fourth down and two on their own 37. We'll see what happens here. And oof, a little bit of a jump, but knocked away. No call on any offsides. And the throw immediately batted down that time by number one, Stephen Harris, or excuse me, Stephen Henderson. So there you go, Shaker. They have the opportunity to add some more. 15-0 is our score, and now they'll get the ball at the 37. So here we go. Shaker at the 37, up 15. What can they do? Hopefully looking to take more time off the clock. Here, play blowed and dead. Flag down by the 40. And it'll be an offsides on South. Willoughby South's offensive drive only took 37 seconds of game clock off. They only passed for, for eight yards, one for four on the drive. He'll give to Cornell Beard, looking for more space, but he'll pick up the first down, just not much else. On the first and five, they'll move the chains. The running game has been working in succession so far. Two to the left, two to the right. Cornell Beard in the backfield with Ahmad, and he'll fake the give. Ahmad's just going to take it himself, and he'll slide down after picking up another first 
and 10. So there you go. Shaker, keep on trucking. Two plays, two first downs. Just about four minutes left to go here in the half. This time he'll give to Cornell Beard. That time it won't be a first down. Not any positive yards, if any. But it should just be another second and ten. Richard McNutt to the left side. Joining them is Murray. No receiver way out to the right. So Ahmad's probably going to look left if he goes to the air. However, the ground game has really been working for him, and that's what he's going to return to. However, met quickly after getting back to the line of scrimmage, able to power through for a couple yards at most. Third down and eight. Shaker of 15. Can they tack on some more before the half concludes? Third down and eight. Most likely go into the air. He'll take the snap. And that's not the case. He'll hand it off to Cornell Beard. He stopped after about five yards on the carry. Or, excuse me, more like three. Under three minutes left to go in the half. What can Shaker do? It's fourth and sixth. They're not sending out the field goal unit. And with Jack Geisler's back-to-back -back missed PATs, I don't see why they would have the confidence to do so. He made the field goal, but now they're going to have to take a timeout as they had only three seconds left to go on the play clock. So with that timeout, we will take a quick little break. That'll be Shaker Heights. That'll be the Red Raiders' final timeout of the half. Will it be South still has all three of theirs, but as they talk things over, we will take a short break, and we will be right back. Fourth down and six for Shaker. They're up 15. And out comes the Red Raiders, this time not the offense. It's the special teams field goal unit. It's Jack Geisler. He made his first field goal attempt, but he then missed back-to-back -back PAT attempts. What's in store here? 15 to nothing our score. The snap, the kick, and that is good. 18 to nothing. Shaker Heights on top. Willoughby South, they got to get something going on offense before the clock runs out. They have two minutes and 16 seconds before halftime, and if they want to get some sort of comeback, they would like it to start now. No passes on that Red Raider drive. Fortunately, could not result in six, but three is better than nothing. Three would be leading the Rebels. 18 to nothing. Our score will take back to kickoff position. And there it goes. Taken in at the nine off of a one hop, but it looks like he's going to be taken down quickly before getting another 20. 
He's lucky to get to the 15, but it looks like that's where he'll spot him. Two oh seven left to go. Here in half, number one, the Red Raider defense back out, and they have had some success. Granted, Willoughby South has just not been able to make any of these plays connect, string together some runs, some passes. There's a pass. Not too much ball security there as he's taken out. He'll fling it right out of bounds. Luckily, it won't matter. Now under two minutes left to go. Here in half number one. Hanslick takes the snap. He'll drop back. He's got some running room in front of him. And he'll get up past the first down marker. He'll take a harsh little fall. But nothing too brutal. It looks like a timeout will be taken by the Rebels. So after the first down, we will take a short break. We will be right back. Shaker now finds themselves up 18 to nothing. First and 10 for Willoughby South. Hanslick drops back, and he'll throw it deep to absolutely no one. I would not be able to tell you who the intended target was there. All I know is that it's now second and 10. It looks like Trey McNutt is slow to get up. That is never something you're ever going to want to hear. Perhaps just needing a helping hand. Now he'll slowly jog off. But we can probably expect him to be rested throughout the remainder of this half. Unless he's persistent. <clears throat> but he is not. He'll return to the sideline. Shaker up 18. Will it be south? Being shut out so far. And they've got 91 seconds to do something about it. Hanslick still... The go-to quarterback in this position. And now time take it off the clock. So 87 seconds to do something about it. Hanslick, not with much time. Now he's under pressure. He'll escape the pocket and take it on out of bounds. The Rebels still with two timeouts to burn. A minute 17 left to go. Hanslick with three men to his left, one to his right. The man in motion moving left. His receiver now knocked out of bounds. And the referee going to call it a late hit. And it makes sense as to why they called it. Unnecessary roughness perhaps will be the call. Move the men in blue up further. 
Cornell Beard being taken out of the play. And that'll move Willoughby up past midfield. They're on the 48. 70 seconds left to go in the half. They're being shut out down 18. Looking for an open receiver. He'll find 22. He'll drop it. But now it looks like a flag will be thrown. And it'll be a face mask on the Red Raiders. And now there's an injured, injured man down on the field. Shaker struggling to cover these intended targets for the first time, really, in this first half. Not to say that the defense hasn't found succession in this half. Two interceptions, and they have just been shutting things down. Still an injured man down on the 48. Shaker with that personal foul, make it four on the half. You never want personal fouls because they lead to things like this. A minute and three seconds left to go in this first half. The home team down 18. The man's still down. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Sixty-three seconds to go, 33 yards. Immediately off the snap, he'll find his intended target. And Singleton will allow the linesman to move those chains. 56 seconds left to go, the clock keeps ticking on down. Ball at the 20. Quick snap, quick throw. Off to the sideline, number two. Going to be shoved out of bounds around the five. We'll see where they spotted it between the five and the six. Moss, the receiver there. 46 seconds left to go. Shaker might have some opportunity to do some damage on their own if South decides to quickly strike here. And, ooh! Wide open, good throw, but right through the hands of Terion Singleton. The senior just not able to hang on. It'll only take three seconds off the clock. Second down and goal from the six. And looking to go to the air once more, this time to Singleton. Once more, but it looks like he'll drop it before getting that knee down. Third end goal from the sixth. South looking for their first points of the ball game. 
They're down 18 to your Shaker Heights Red Raiders. And if they want to get a comeback going, they want to get it going as early as possible, and that's before time winds down. Third and sixth. He'll take the snap. He'll give it up the middle to Williams, and he'll push on through it. My goodness. He just kept on going. The cannon fires for the Rebels. And throw six up on the board. Twenty-nine seconds left to go in the half. It looks like a timeout will be taken by South. Before this play, it looks like they'll be going for two when we come back. Shaker up for the moment, 18-6. to six. And out trots the offense, looking for two more points. Ball thrown on the left hash mark. 18 to six, your Red Raiders on top. Three men out to the left side, one to the right. Man in the backfield is Williams. And he's going to the air. He'll find his man, but it's dropped. And it remains. 18 to 6. So we'll see if Shaker decides to really do anything in the dying seconds of this one. They will be receiving it first in our second half of action. But head coach Alex Nicholson, definitely known for his aggressive play calling, so we will see. Abdul Ahmad. Able to connect with a lot of his receivers on deep shots down the field. So we shall see. First, we got to get through a kickoff. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Olam. Hope you're enjoying this one so far. Shaker winning on the road. 29 seconds left to go in this first half of action. South getting set to kick this one away. After their first touchdown, but no completion on the two-point conversion. Aiden Murray, Trey McNutt, and Kai James, the three back on the 10 to receive this one, but this one low to the ground. Kai James and Trey McNutt each struggling to pick it up, but eventually it will be Trey McNutt. He's taken down before getting back to the 10. Now most likely be taking the knee here, and who could blame him? They receive it first, next half. And their way back on their own side of the field. 24 seconds left to go. They're on their own 10. Abdul Ahmad comes back out leading this offense. And so far leading this one by 12. It would make sense to take the knee here. We'll see what they decide to do. 
They've got no timeouts, and they're going to run it. Perhaps looking for some burst of energy, but it looks like with that, oh, oof, Willoughby South not letting this one end quick enough. 17 seconds left to go in the half. The Rebels are going to burn their last timeout. 17 seconds left to go. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back for the final 17 seconds of the half. And the Red Raider offense back out now. 17 seconds left to go. Neither team with timeouts. They're most likely going to run this one down. That they will do. The handoff to Beard. Perhaps with some running room, but that quickly ends. That'll take us to the end of this one. Or... Not just yet, needing to wait for the clock to start once more after the first down conversion. But 2-1-0, that is the end of our first half of play. Shaker coming out with a burst of energy. And they lead this one by 12 in an 18-6 score. We'll be back for the third quarter of action. We can see if Shaker can continue their success on the road. But for now... We've got some halftime shows for you here. Shaker, your very own Shaker Heights High School marching band, set to perform first. Hope you enjoy here from Willoughby South.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to present the pride of South High, the 2023 Wilkie South High School Marching Band, under the field direction of Amber Kemper and Alana S. Sander. This evening, we present the first two movements of our 2023 competition show entitled Waves. The first movement is titled The Calm Before, and the second is titled Agitation.
closed this evening's show with a hit by Fall Out Boy from the movie Big Hero 6, Immortals.
Hello Shaker Heights Varsity football fans and welcome back. We are here after the first half of action. Shaker finds themselves winning by 12 in an 18 to 6 score. Shaker getting set to receive as we open up this second half of play. We'll see what their off offense brings out because clearly the pass has worked for them relatively well. 8 for 10 for 78 yards. However, that last quarter, they didn't use it nearly as much, only going to the air once, completing it for 11 yards. Not sure why they didn't exactly use that to their advantage, even more so. On the running side of things, they ran 25 times for 89 yards. In that second quarter, 12 times for 64. The kick is away. This one's low. Taken in around the 15 and with some fancy footwork getting past the 30 and around the 35. We'll see where they mark him. Might be exactly at the 35. But it looks as though they'll mark this one at about the 34. Perhaps 35? And they're very hesitant with where they're placing it. Now they do place it. It's on the 35. Shaker led by Abdullah Ahmad coming right back out now. Looking to replicate that first half of success. We'll see if they can do just that. Three men out to the right. One man to the left. He'll fake the give and throw it off to the left side for Colin Richards. Not a big gain, but definitely a positive one. Five yards on the game. Second and five. They're halfway there to moving those chains. Cornell Beard in the backfield with Ahmad. We'll see if they go to the ground game. That they will. He'll take it outside to the right. He'll pick up the first down, getting it just about to exactly midfield. And there you go, utilizing that run game once more. So now at midfield, Shaker quickly getting something going once again. He'll take the snap and a quick throw to the right side of Aiden Murray, and the seniors got it. He'll take it to the 45, unless they mark him just short. And it looks like they might, 46. Eh, 45 and a half. Only one minute taken off the clock up to this point as we open up this second half of action. Abdul Ahmad with three men to the left side, one near side, two out wide and one out wide to the right. Beard in the backfield with him. He'll take the snap, and he'll give to Beard. He'll shut a tackle, and now he's got room to run, diving forward up to about the 35. The junior Cornell Beard powering his way through there and moving those chains once more. Shaker up 12, looking to add some more to that deficit. The question is, can they? Two right, two left. Beard, once again, in that backfield with him. It's rare you'll see a high school football team go empty backfield. But there, the handoff just not going to work. Stopped short behind the line of scrimmage, and it'll just be a loss of about one. Second and 11 yards to go. Ball spotted at the 36. And he'll scan the field in front of him. He's launching it deep. Oh! Oh! That is just unfortunate. Kai James in the hands. James just turned his head, wouldn't reel it in, and oof. 
There's a free touchdown. All you have to do is catch the football. That's not one that's going on. Kai James' is highlight reel. Third down, 11 yards to go. Still, most likely going to go to the air. He'll take the snap, and he is under pressure quickly, but he'll escape the pocket, and he's launching it deep, clearly held, and there's the flag. Aiden Murray's shoulder pad is showing, and that's for a reason. He is just completely tugged all the way down the sideline. They'll call it a hold. So the Rebels are going to get pushed back. The Red Raiders are going to get pushed forward as the Willoughby South coach helps Aiden Murray out with a shoulder pad. So move Shaker on up. Ball spotted at the 26. He'll take the snap handoff inside. He'll move it forward. Getting that first down. It was only a third and one. Move those chains once again. Your Red Raiders are driving. It's becoming a chillier night here at the Harry E. Winters Stadium. But nothing... A a football player in full gear cannot manage. Dulamod fakes the give. He'll throw to Kai James and once again, that time a little over his head, but still, it's in his hands. You got to catch it. Granted, he may have lost some yardage if he had. It's a debatable. Second down and 10 to go. They're at the 14. He'll take the snap. He'll fake a give, and he's got some room to run, but not much at all, perhaps getting it to the 10. And it'll be a third and six. Needing to go to the air here if they can, if they have the confidence. And it looks like they do. But they'll keep it with a short pass. Cornell Beard evading a tackle. He's going to get the first down and more touchdown. There you go, Cornell Beard. Getting the starting job just last season, and he has grown since then. And you can see what his fancy footwork can do. Touchdown, Red Raiders, 24 to six. We'll see if they can tack on one more. Jack Geisler. Missing all PAT attempts so far, but that is no more. 25 to six. Your Red Raiders on top here on the road. Thank you very much for tuning in. Kickoff is upcoming. Will Tegan will be out in just a moment. Will Tegan, the typical soccer player, brought on for his power leg, will kick this one away once more. And there it goes. Two 
the five, it's reeled in. And he's got a hole, and he just keeps going. No one's able to get to him just yet. 50, 40, and eventually shoved out of bounds. But not until getting into some good, good field position to open up this drive. They're down 19. It's time to start a comeback if you're these South Rebels. On that Red Raider offensive drive, they had five runs for 35 yards. They went two for five in the passing game for 18. The drive itself lasted three and a half minutes. And now they're up 19. Hansley gives it off to Williams. He's got room to run. 20, 15, and he's pushed out of bounds. This defense needs to lock in once more. However, it looks like we've got a man down. And so an injury timeout is taken. The trainer will come out to meet him. And we'll be back as he's taken care of. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum. We've got 8.13 left to go in quarter number three. First and 10 for Willoughby South here. They're on their own 16, looking to do some damage, looking to get some sort of comeback, going just a little late. Ooh, almost good interception opportunity there. Some harsh contact, and a flag is thrown. It looked like just some good football, but that just isn't the case. And they might call the Red Raiders on that. Taunting the call. On Shaker. An unfortunate and rather controversial call. Called on the Red Raiders. So that'll move them up. To about the eight, maybe the nine. And here, the run game working in their favor once again. This time, just not able to escape to the sideline. Just good enough. Red Raiders arguing it was a fumble, but he was down just soon enough. However, we got another flag on the play. And they're going to call another taunting on your shaker, Red Raiders. 7.49 left to go. And this has gotten unfortunate. Shaker hurting themselves. They're up 19. So they've got room for error. But it's not what you want to see. First and goal from the four-yard line. Man in motion moving to the right side. That's number two. Faking a give. We'll try to find a man in the end zone, and he'll just thread the needle. Almost perfect coverage, but he'll find the hands of his receiver. Arm the cannon. It's about to go off in three, two, one. There you go. Touchdown, Rebels.
So that'll weaken the deficit to 13. And they might be going for two again. But I don't know if that's the case. Maybe it is. Perhaps their PAT unit is not good or perhaps it's not existent. We've seen that from high school teams before. 7.45 left to go in quarter number three. And it will be a PAT. To make it a 12-point game, the snap, the hold, the kick, it's blocked. And it's recovered by the men in Columbia Blue. So no extra point added on. It's a 13-point game, and we await our next kickoff. Shaker up 25-12. to 12. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Von Ald. We will be right back. And we're back. There must have been some sort of penalty assessed as the kickoff is being thrown back to the 25. The men in blue will line up on the 20. Shaker has the opportunity to get in good field position after this kickoff. And the kick in, once again, it's low. Kai James reeling it in at about the 35. He's got room to run, tripped up. And they will get it in between the 45 and 50. Maybe a bit closer to the 50. But if you're a Shaker fan, you're not complaining about that. Shaker needing to widen this deficit again if they want to have a confident lead heading into a fourth quarter. You don't want this game to be up in the air after such a good first half performance. Abdul Ahmad back out leading this offense so far successfully. Beard lines up behind him. He'll take the snap. Fake the give to Beard, and now he's got no room to run. Taken back behind the 45, and that'll be a big loss of yardage, maybe seven. But they'll be generous in market six. Second and 16. The clock keeps on ticking down. We're past the halfway mark of this one. Mod takes the snap. And that throw just over that intended target, number 43. Intended target, Darting and Mitchell. 
But he had no chance to reel that one in the throw. Not at all on target. Third and 16, most likely going to the air. And that is the case. The throw, as Abdullah Ahmad falls, it'll get to Kyle Waits. And though he's dropped two, he'll move this one up past midfield, past the 45. And it's not too far to go to get a first down. The question is, will they go for it? Fourth and four. And it looks like they will. Fourth and three, excuse me. Ball on the 43. Two my, to the left, one to the right, one near side left. And he'll hand, hand this one off to Caden King with the offensive lineman right in his way and he just couldn't maneuver around him. And he'll be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. A turnover on downs. And here come the Rebels. They're down 13, needing a comeback. On that drive for the Red Raiders in their running game, two runs for negative eight yards. Not one to remember if you're either King or Beard. Six minutes, five seconds left to go in this third quarter of action. Running it up the middle once more, he'll get a couple yards before getting taken down. Not past midfield just yet. Mark it at the 40, 47. Mark it a second and eight for the Rebels. The running game, really the thing that's working for the home team here in this one. But here they'll fake the give. They've got a man deep. He's wide open, but the throw just not on target. Dangerously open coverage. He was there for the reception, but the ball just couldn't meet him there. Third down and eight. Perhaps time to go back to the air, but for this team where running is where you're succeeding. I don't see why you don't continue there, and that's what they do. But it will be stopped. Quickly. Fourth down. They're not yet to midfield. They're at the 49, but it looks like they might be going for it anyway. Fourth and six. It's either a false side, false start or an offsides. We'll see who they mark. The Red Raiders really believe in that. It was a false start. We'll see if that's accurate. Referees discussing for a bit of time now. False start on the Rebels. And that'll help the Red Raider cause push them back five. And out comes the punt unit. Victory Red Raiders on there. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got five more minutes of play here in this third quarter of action. Shaker leading this one by 13, and after this punt, they're looking to add some more to that deficit. The ball on the 44. Long snap a bit high, but he'll recollect it and punt this one away. And fumbling it for just a moment is Aiden Murray, and now he's going backwards. He'll fumble it. Does he recover? And we'll see what the referee determines. Aiden Murray just continuing to go backwards. And special teams really hurting. It's a away team in white and red, but luckily Shaker will get that ball back. Everyone just take a breather. 25-12, Shaker Heights. The offense coming back out now. 
It was a turnover on downs last time. After King just couldn't move the ball forward enough on the fourth and two. Hopefully they don't get stuck in that same position on this drive. Here comes Abdul Ahmad, the starting quarterback of your Shaker Heights Red Raiders. King back in the backfield, perhaps trying to give Cornell Beard some rest. So King will be the running back to start this drive. He's in the backfield with Ahmad. And he'll get the carry. Moving it up through the inside, powering forward. Eventually taken down. Not too much on the game, but some positive yardage. We'll see how they mark this one down. Call it four. Second and six. Three men out to the right. One man near side left. Early go with it. He'll give it right back to the run game. Not able to push forward that much on that time. Cornell Beard, the ball carrier. But immediately stopped before too much of a gain. A couple of yards. Third and two. Three thirty left to go in the third. Ahmad takes the snap. He'll give once more. And stopped short. Continuing the run game, and it's just continuing to be just short of where it needs to be. Except, oh, oh my. Referee's a little generous here today. Giving them the first down and 10. Didn't look like it from here. But the Red Raiders are going to take that. Stop before getting to the line of scrimmage is Cornell Beard. Another run, another predictable run at that. They'll call it one yard on the game. Second down and nine to go. Three to the left, one to the right. They'll probably go to the air in that is exactly what they'll do. Here's to Cornell Beard escaping the backfield and now he's got room to run. Good block and now he's down the sideline. 40, 35, 30, taking a man down and now he's shoved out of bounds. Oh, did you see that stiff arm? But Cornell Beard harshly taken out of bounds. And he seems to be a little shaken up. Cornell Beard, a slow jog back to the sideline. After one heck of a gain, 52 yards. And well, let's just say that gives the Red Raiders a boost of confidence. But did you see that stiff arm? My goodness, that was brutal. Chubb-esque, if I may. Two minutes, six seconds. And they're going to go back to the air this time to King. He'll take it in off the left hand. And he'll power through, not getting the first down just yet, but getting close. Second down in either eight or nine. And the clock will run on down. Shaker building up some credibility in the run game now. Three off to the right. The man in motion moving left is Kai James. So that'll make it two off to the left side and two to the right side. We'll see if they continue to run it here. And they will, but it'll be Ahmad keeping it. And looked like he lost it for a second, or maybe that's just me imagining things. He's okay. Did he pick up the first? He did. First and goal from the six and a half to be precise. The clock continuing to tick on down. A minute 
and 10 seconds left to go. No men are off to the right. We'll see if they decide to run once more. And of course they do. It's off to Caden King and he'll just waltz right in. Easy money for King, the running back number 26. Touchdown, Red Raiders, 31 to 12. Now our score. The drive, eight runs, one pass, and well, it definitely worked. Especially on that 52-yard run from Cornell Beard with that nasty stiff arm. And here we are, 57 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Your Red Raiders are on top. By 19, can it be 20? And yes, it can be. 32 to 12. And we will be right back as the Red Raiders get set to kick this one off. They're up 20. We'll be right back. Jack Geisler, the one to kick this off. Will take and perhaps getting some rest. And, well, maybe that's why. This one will roll on out of bounds. There's the flag. And that is why you don't mess with what works. Special teams, not exactly the strong suit for the Red Raiders here tonight. That's been proven the case on multiple occurrences. 57 seconds left to go here in this third quarter of play. Don't worry, we still have 12 minutes of play for you in the fourth. Red Raider defense coming back out now. Ball spotted at the 35 of the Rebels side of the field. And this defense has been doing very, very well. But perhaps some signs of fatigue as they're using that run game. Oh, my. A tricky little jet sweep there. It looked like a brutal block on that one Red Raider defender, number 18. And because of that good blocking, it allows the Rebels to pass midfield. First and 10 from that 49. Oh, fumble. And trying to throw it away. That was backwards. As it went out of bounds, so. There's the flag. Intentional grounding. And that'll be a big loss of yardage. Send your thoughts to the quarterback, Hanslick, because that is not going to help his rushing stats. And they are going way back. We'll get the exact numbers in just a moment. But for the moment, let's just say it's second and quite long. And they're obviously going to go to the air here. No target in sight. Third and very, very long. The pass rush really getting into the back of the head of Hanslick. And number 19 has not had the night to remember. That offensive line hasn't either. Third 
third and way too long. And they're, of course, going back to the air. Looking for a man down the middle, and once again, no one is home. That pass, I don't know if he exactly had the right routes in mind, because really, no one was near that one. So, send out the South Punt team. 34 seconds left to go in quarter number three. We have had a long quarter number three. And here's the punt. 2-8 in Murray. Oh, we'll fumble it. And once again, a special teams mistake. Luckily, not too costly. 30, or excuse me, 27 seconds now left to go in quarter number three. With that, we got an extra 12 minutes to go for you. Shaker up 20, looking for more. First and 10, ball spotted at the 35, even with that Aiden Murray fumble. 32-12 our score. And they're going to utilize that run game just a little bit more. Caden King taken down. After just one yard to the play there. Or they'll give him two. Second and eight. They're just going to wait for time to expire here on this third quarter. The whistles will blow. And there you go. We've got 12 more in store for you. Shaker up 32 to 12 here on the road. Our season opener here. Week one. Shaker winning by 20. We'll see if they can extend that lead and win this game here in Willoughby South. We'll be right back. Shaker up 20. Second down and eight to go on their own 37. They're going to hand this one off. Or, excuse me, no, they won't. Dula Ahmad keeps, then throws rather late, just behind the line of scrimmage. And we'll see if that moves the chains. It will not, just short. Third and one. A little tricky play there from the men in white and red. Seven out of place. Third, out of one Third and one. The handoff. Oh! He is met immediately after the handoff. That was a brutal hit. A good tackle from the defender. And that'll bring on the punt unit. So on the fourth and five, the punter, Sebastian Suarez Cristodulo. He stands on the 25, but it looks like a timeout is going to be taken by the Willoughby South Rebels. And with that, we will take a break for just...
a couple seconds as the teams talk it over. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum. We've got 11 minutes and 14 left for you here. Shaker up 20, but not going to be able to add as they have their punt unit out on the fourth and five. Sebastian Suarez, Cristo Dulo to punt this one away. The snap, the punt, the block, and they're going to get good possession out of this. He's going to keep running, and he's close to the 20. Special teams. An area of focus for Shaker Heights come week two. Great field position here. Ball at the 22. It's not too late to get a comeback going. Looking to go to the air, it's Hanslick, and he's met behind the line, thrown down. Beauty of a sack. And that'll move him back a lot. We'll see what they mark this one down. I'll mark it down 11. Number six, the nose tackle Justin Russell on the put down. And here on another slant. Not going to get back to that original line of scrimmage, but from back where they were placed, that'll be some positive yardage. Will it be South working that time of possession? They were really unable to in that third quarter, but here play is blown dead. We've got a flag down. Illegal substitution on Shaker. That'll help out South just a little bit. It was a third and 17. I'll mark it a third and 12. Taking their time. Making, wanting to make sure they get this one right, but it looks like it'll fall short of any sort of succession as there is, once again, another sack on Hanslick. Not a night to remember if you're number 19. That'll push him back further once more. And they're going to have to go for it. Almost nine and a half left to go in the game. So they got to make do with whatever they have. Here, launching this one, and that is most definitely a flag on Trey McNutt. Pushed him over before the ball could even get to him. So the D1 recruit, unfortunately, does make mistakes. You definitely could argue that it was uncatchable. It looked to go way over his head and out of bounds, but the referee sees what he sees. He calls what he calls. And we'll see how far this moves him forward. The
the snap. He's under pressure. And the throw is short. So after the fourth and seven incompletion, that's the turnover on downs. And Shaker really looking confident right now. They're up 20. They have the ball with under 10 minutes to go here on the road at Harry E. Winters Stadium here in Willoughby. Shaker still using all of their primary starters. Ahmad's still in at the starter position. However, he'll continue to hand it off to Caden King. He'll work it on to the outside of the line, but not much further as he keeps it inside enough to meet some of those Rebels defenders. But it looks like we've got a man down for Shaker. He's down and he's hurt. Here come the trainers. And while he gets taken care of, we'll be right back. Hope all is well. Caden King, the man that was down. So after that, we can expect to see Cornell Beard return to the backfield, and that is the case. Colin Richard near side to the left. He's got two more receivers out to the right. Nine minutes, ten seconds left to go here in quarter number four, the final quarter of this ballgame and of the Red Raiders week one. Can they secure the victory? They're up 20 with the ball. Snap the ball in there, just looking to tire out this defense. Cornell Beard fighting for some extra yardage and he'll get some. About two. And do we have another man down? And we do. Another Red Raider. Not what you like to see. And the trader returns once again. It looks to be cramping. Of course, it is the first week back after 10 months not playing on the high school football field. So once again, we'll take a short break. We'll be back. So that was the other running back, Cornell Beard. Back-to-back -back plays, back-to-back -back running backs, leaving the drive with cramps. So it'll be Damian Cunningham, the typical wide receiver, joining the backfield. Ahmad under pressure. He's got room to run. First down and more. 30, 35, 40, and he's taken down. Good run from the QB. Wilson on a stop for 
8.20 left to go at Harry E. Winter Stadium. This home crowd seems to be thinning out. The snap from Ahmad. The give to Damian Cunningham. He'll avoid the initial tackle, but clearly Damian Cunningham taken down rather awkwardly. We'll see if he's okay. He seems to get up rather well. But a bit of some awkward movement from his leg. Ahmad heading off for one moment to talk it over with his coach. He returns. 20 seconds on the play cut. Only one delay of game penalty here today. And they go back to Cunningham. Making some men miss, but now he'll get thrown down with aggression. Under seven minutes to go. Shaker really th slowing things down here in Willoughby. The man in motion moving to the right. Number 43. Two to the right, one to the left. Ahmad scanning his options. He'll go down the field. Way overthrown. So due to that other incompletion, Shaker going to bring out that punt team once again. Sebastian Suarez, Chris Adula. South really needs a miracle if they want to get back into this ball game. But firstly, Shaker's just going to want to talk things over before putting this one away. We'll be right back. Thank you very much for tuning in. Shaker looking to go 1-0 and to start their season. Thank you very much for tuning in. Fourth down, six to go, punting unit out for the Red Raiders. 6.32 left to go in the game. The long snap and the punt. Not a bad punt, just a little high. Taken in around the 30. He's got some room to run, making men miss, and he's got more room to run. And the punter, Moss, and he's all the way in for the score. That's the way to gain your confidence back. And the cannon coming soon. There you go. Touchdown, Willoughby South. And the band goes crazy. Once again, if I have not stressed it enough, Special teams is the area of concern in this game. PAT opportunity. Looking to make it 32 to 19. And the kick is up. And it is good.
Put up to 13 seconds to go here. Here we go to the studio. Paper Knights 32. Here we go to South Pro. 19. Well, that's a momentum killer if you're Shaker. Though they were trying to slow things down, they weren't trying to slow things down that much. And now we're back to a two-possession ball game. 13 points separate South and Shaker. Shaker getting the ball back here. We'll see if they decide to play aggressive at all. All runs, no passing attempts this quarter. Maybe they can try something up. Six minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the ball game. The home crowd thinned out quite a lot, but now they got something to cheer for. The kickoff from the 40, and it'll just roll right to Kai James. And he'll be stopped at about the 35, thrown back. And that's where Abdullah Ahmad and the offense will set up. Only eight seconds off the clock there. 6.05 left to go. The Rebels needing a stop here if they want to remain in this ball game. If Shaker drives down the field, that could be it. The question is, will head coach Alex Nicholson take any chances and put the ball in the air? Substitution being made for the men in blue and gray. Now Shaker with an opportunity to seal the deal. Two out to the left, one out to the right. Ahmad looking to go to the air. Finally, for the first time this quarter, and he's got him in. Deep. Oh. But they're going to call taunting. After the play, some risky mistakes from South. That's never what you want to see from one of your players, a taunting call. However, the referees are consistent. They called taunting on the Raiders earlier in this one. Cameron Jackson, the junior intended target. A little shaken up after that one. But he'll return to the sideline, hopefully in okay condition. Well, after the penalty, that'll move Shaker up to midfield. And they'll... Stick to the ground here. Cornell Beard powering his way through. His O-line trying to push him forward. A battle between offense and defense. And unfortunately, the referees will blow this one dead. So keep the clock running. That's what Shaker really just wants at this point. Five yards out of play. Shaker the Rebels. Five and a half left to go. Here in the final quarter. Of play. 
Shaker is up 13 points. Or, yes, excuse me. Shaker is up 13 points, winning this one 32 to 19. They're past midfield. Ball at the 45, second and five. The snap, the give to Beard once again. And once again, just pushing and shoving the offensive line and the defensive line. Beard picking up a couple more. It'll be about a third and three. And now it looks like the Rebels are going to burn their second of three timeouts. Looking to stop Red Raider momentum and stop them from burning out this clock. Third and three will be the down and distance when we come back. Thanks for tuning in. Shaker up 13. Five oh one left to go here in Willoughby South at the Harry E. Winters Stadium. Shaker looking to seal the deal with a score here. More than likely looking to keep this one on the ground. Two men out to the left, one out to the right. We'll see what they do. They will keep it on the ground. Abdul Ahmad fakes the give and he is off. He is off. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. What a play call. What an execution from the starter, Abdul Ahmad. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Throw up. Six more on the board. It is 38, 19. Shaker Heights on top on the road. Jack Geisler back to make that kick. Doing well on PATs recently. He really struggled earlier. However, it looks like we've gotten offsides. Shaker looks as though they're going to stick with that PAT. Just moved a little closer. The kick is up, and the kick is good. We're back to a 20-point ball game. And the Shaker Band, Raiderettes and cheerleaders, go a little crazy. Under five minutes left to go. We await. The Red Raider kick off to the Rebels. Geisler back on to make this kickoff. Shaker on that drive. Three runs for 50 yards. They try to go to the air once, and well, it was incomplete. That was their one attempt of the quarter. The kick low and trying to get it to roll. It's off the Rebel. Out by the 35-yard line, but it'll roll all the way back 
past the 25, and we'll see where they mark this one. We'll see if the Rebels still got some hope in them. Not too late to start a comeback, but I've been saying that just for about this entire second half. Shaker just keeps responding. What can Gabe Hanslick do here? Well, firstly, he'll go to the air. Ooh, no one home. Bit of some late pressure, no call on it. But yeah, no one home. Second and 10. Gabe Hanslick, the senior, not having a welcoming game to his senior year. And oof. Another incompletion for South. Not having a drive to remember quickly. Third down, 10 to go. Shaker wanting to stop it here. That could really put an end to any Rebel hope. Three off to the right. One, or excuse me, two out to the left. They're going empty backfield. The throw complete to number 16, but wrapped up before he can get much of anywhere. Bring up a fourth down. We'll see the distance. They're going to go for it. They need to at this point. It'll be a fourth and five. One more Red Raiders stop here, and that can end hope. Four minutes left to go. Man in motion moving left is number two. They'll hit the man on the slant route, and he will be put down. He will pick up that first down, but the clock will keep on running. Rebels only with one more timeout available. Shaker with two, but we don't expect to use them as much. Here, quarterback with some room to run. And, oh, brutal block from number 77. Now past midfield, past the 45, and just getting up to about the 40. Good run from Hanslick. 20 yards on the play. Good for another Rebel. First down. They'll mark it as 20 yards on the game. We'll see what they can do. Clock keeps on ticking. Need to go to the air. He'll find his man number two. He'll evade the tackle, but won't be able to pick up a first. He's close, but just not there yet. The Red Raiders should be fine with this. They're taking their time going down the field. If they do score, we could expect to see some sort of onside. Henderson on the run. He'll take him down back around the 45. And they'll mark him down at exactly the 45. Henderson, the man to stop on the defensive line here today. They're looking to hurry this one up. Clock continuing to tick on down. Two and a half left to go here in Willoughby. A bit of a faulty snap. The throw, the catch, just about one yard to gain, or on the gain, excuse me, maybe two, if they're feeling lucky. But right now, Shaker's got another man down. And as they tend to him, we'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. 219 left to go.
Degamo Richards, the man down on that play. Perhaps another cramp up. That's what it appears to be. Fourth and 12, last chance potentially for Willoughby South. He's under pressure. He'll try to escape the pocket. He's got room to run, but not too much. But he'll pick it up. Oh, he fumbles, but he'll regain the possession. Ooh. That play right there, an emotional roller coaster. That'll move the, that'll move the sticks. Rebels staying alive. The throw, the catch, down the sideline, 10-5, pushed out of bounds. Moss on the reception. Murray on the coverage, or at least do you want to throw him out of play? And as we just reach under two minutes left to go, Shaker Heights going to burn their second time out to talk things over. They're still up 20, our score 39 to 19, but they just want to make sure they can secure the victory on the road. We'll be right back. Shaker up 20, looking to secure the victory. The Rebels have a first and goal from the sixth. You can get that last substitution in there quickly. And trying to run it on the inside. He's met quickly by Henderson. And let that clock keep on going. Second and goal. Taking the snap. He'll give it off to Williams once again. And once again, he is met before he can do any sort of damage. A little bit of pushing and shoving. Nothing flag worthy at all. But since that timeout, already 40 seconds off the clock. Shakers in a good position. Two to the left, two to the right. Man in the backfield with... It's Williams. Quarterback, room to run. And he's able to waltz on in. And the cannon goes off. Surprisingly, a solid amount of celebration, but we'll get some flags after the touchdown. Perhaps some more taunting. We'll see what they officially call this one. The Rebels called on the taunting. And once again, at least the referees are consistently calling what they're calling for taunting. A minute and two seconds left to go in game clock. Here's the PAT attempt for the Rebels. The kick is up and it is good. Shaker back down to a 13 point deficit. But they've got the ball and they've got time to just kill this clock. 62 seconds left to go. Thank you. 
that last drive for South. Six runs for 35 yards. They went five for seven in passing for 33 yards. The drive itself took almost four minutes, 350 exactly. 62 seconds of safe football for Shaker. Hopefully enough, and that will send them into the win column to open up the season. And this is why they practice victory formation in practice. So after the taunting, kickoff will be placed at the 25. The Rebels will line up at the 20. And the kickoff. Trying it onside. Take it in. That's some better special teams than what we've seen much of today. Only two seconds off the clock. We've got exactly 60 seconds till Shaker can call this one a victory. You can call Shamar Malone on the good catch to keep that one in Shaker possession. Shaker getting it on their offensive half of midfield at the 35. First and 10. This should be victory formation position. Unless they really decide to run it. And even though number 64 was running off as quick as he could, that is, should be an illegal substitution. So it'll move Shaker on back. Not too much damage done. So in victory formation, Ahmad hangs on to it for a moment until any pressure comes. And now he'll kneel down. Might as well hang on to it until any of the Rebels decide to come after you. 40 seconds left to go. One more kneel. And Shaker will start their season off 1-0. and oh. Ahmad earned this one. So did his whole offense and his defense. Special teams. There's some stuff that's going to need to be worked on till next Friday. But till next Friday, Shaker will be getting set to play the Brush Arcs back at home. Home opener. We'll see you back in Raider territory. Shaker with the victory here today, 39 to 26. Our final score, Abdul Ahmad led the offense and the defense, they really just held their own. We hope you enjoyed this one here from Willoughby South. Shaker starts off their season one win to zero losses. We'll see if they can keep that win streak alive back at home. My name is Vaughn Ullum. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. We'll keep this going all football season long. Till next time. <laughs>